Hey Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading for August 10th through the 17th. Um, all right, so Oracle cards. You have peace. You have round and round. And you have loyal heart. So I feel like some of you are involved in a situation I feel like it's a relationship. I feel like some of you are involved in a relationship where you've created a pattern, a cycle with each other, um, potentially like a going at each other like cats and dogs and then makeup and then go at it like cats and dogs and then a makeup. And I feel like that this cycle that you guys have created together is has kind of disrupted your peace. Um, it could be also an on and off relationship. Um, I, I do feel that you're truly like a good loyal hearted person. Um, and I feel like I needed to tell you that maybe you don't know that you're so loyal Sagittarius, but you are, you're a good hearted person. I can see that here. Okay, so the overarching energy for this reading is the Emperor. Um, so I feel like maybe some of you are stuck in a narcissistic partner cycle. So you have quite a lot of healing work to do, the star, um, and a balance to strike. Um, really needing to get out of, get out of this cycle you guys are working in death card here okay so really trying to move out of that that cycle build up some barriers and while I don't usually feel like we should build up barriers against others <laughs> I feel like it's like to not put up barriers put up boundaries so I feel like you're a really kind-hearted person and you're mixed up with, mixed up, and you're involved with someone that ha is on the narcissistic scale. Um, so when that happens, usually um, the non-narcissistic partner needs to establish strong boundaries um, because narcissists really love to walk all over boundaries. And so they'll typically choose people that don't have a strong sense of boundaries about uh, about themselves okay so I feel like that's really the message one of the messages here for you is to work on healing your boundary issues um, you have a healing family issues card here um, so I feel like probably your boundary issues stem from some family issues that you need to sort out um, which, you know, everybody has to work out their own childhood things. This is just yours, and that's okay. Half the battle is recognizing it, right? <laughs> All right, so I feel like there's a gift from the universe that came along pretty recently. Um, I, I wonder if you have made some new friends or that have made you feel stronger, um, starting to get that sense about you, um, let, let your friends help you. Okay, so that may be the gift from the universe that you've received. Um, some really good friends that are supportive and loving. Um, you're showing up as Six of Pentacles, so like I said, you're like this, you, you seem to have a really good heart um, and you seem to be very generous. So put, making sure that you've got the appropriate boundaries, healthy boundaries, to where you're not over giving to people that don't appreciate it, Emperor here, okay? So near future, Queen of Swords vibe. So I feel like you really are going to step into your, your personal power and confidence once you really make the effort to heal those those family ones and those boundary issues that you've got going on. Um, so I think that's a really great thing for you. I, I, this is a real growth opportunity you have right now. <laughs> um, 
I think though you still harbor a little, there's a kid back there, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I still feel like you harbor a little bit of a fear of the ending for this relationship though, or the cycle that you're in with this person. The world can be like ending of a cycle. Um, so I, I feel like you're a little bit afraid to take that next step. But I absolutely feel like it's it's a huge growth opportunity for you. The outcome is the fool. So I feel like it's a totally new path for you. Um, and I saved this next card for last because I felt like the fool needed to be followed up by what is this great thing that's actually in the works for you down the line. Um, so if you step onto your new path where you, and you've healed these family wounds and you've developed healthy boundaries, if you've done the work, then you have a two of cups energy coming along. So I, I feel like you'll have now, after that after that healing work has been done, you will have um, a partnership opportunity. Okay, but I don't think it's gonna happen until you've, you've really done the, that, that emotional healing that you really need. Okay, so Sagittarius, remember that you're awesome, okay? and you deserve love and respect, okay? So, take care of yourself, Sagittarius, and I will see you next week.